Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're uh, today we're going to look at uh, my potato can that I told you we were going to look at, and we're just going to get right into it. We're going to see what different things that uh, that this thing can shoot through, and uh, I got three or four different items, and then I'll probably come up with some others uh, as we go. So, without further ado, we'll just get right into it. All right, our first target is just a single sheet of corrugated cardboard. I think this thing's going to go right through it. Yeah, no problem. So we're going to have to really step it up from here. Okay, next one we have is a just typical half inch uh, sheet of drywall. Um, I don't really think this one's going to fare too well either, but it's already in the vise, so let's shoot at it. See for yourself. We need to start getting some much heavier duty, stronger pieces of material out here. This next one we have for you is a quarter inch Duroc uh, concrete backer board. And these are all from about 20, 21 feet away. And uh, if you like this, and you like the type of stuff that's on my channel, please think about uh, subscribing and uh, hitting the like button. It really helps me grow this channel and um, and do these types of videos. Um, I got kind of a short-term goal of 100 subscribers, but I really love if we could get up to 1,000. So let's see if this is going to go through that quarter-inch backer board. Again, like it's not even there. All right, for my next trick, we have the half inch uh, Duroc backer board. Just typical stuff that you put behind tile. Let's see if it can stop a potato. Nope. <laughs> okay, now we're getting a little bit more serious. This is a drawer that I misordered for a rental property. I think it has a 1 8 inch uh, plywood wood bottom to it. And we'll see how it fares. Right through it. <laughs> For this one, we're going to shoot the side of that same uh, drawer box that I had. It's uh, half inch plywood. And I think this this one may be it. This might be the one that stops it, but uh, we'll see. I might have to take a couple shots because uh, I'm shooting potatoes and the ballistics on them are terrible. See, I missed on that one. And yeah, that one just made mashed potatoes. But it hit, it hit the table before it hit the, uh, the thing itself. So we'll try one more time. Oh, I missed the top. It blew the back off. Take four. I'm not sure if it, if it was being held in place, if it would uh, break it, but it, it, it did a number on the uh, on the box itself. I'll show you. It 
So I think that's where it hit over there. Get in the light here. And it has just destroyed this thing. So we'll move on to the next thing. One more for you, since I'm, I'm doing this in my backyard and my neighbors are probably real tired of hearing this thing go off. But uh, it's no secret to anyone. I love me some White Claw seltzer drink. And I don't care what that says about me, but uh, all the imitators are just garbage. And I've tried all of them and I have a couple. And so I wanted to just get rid of this one and we'll see how many shots it takes for me to get it. First shot. And that thing is gone. We cut the can right in half. So, thank God that thing's out of the world. And uh, we'll see what the slow motion video looks like. The fun part is that my GoPro is covered in potato guts. So we'll get that all cleaned up. So this is the uh, potato can that we're using. I'll try to keep it in the uh, sunlight here. And the thing that makes this one awesome is that I actually did some maths on it. Um, and it has a one and a half uh, to one uh, chamber to barrel ratio as far as volume goes. And then the real kicker to this one is this fan that I have in the back, if you can see it. And what that does is it, it really mixes the fuel and air. And then once the potato goes, it exhausts. Uh, all the exhaust brings in fresh air. And then on top of that, I just kind of put in this cool little pistol grip with the igniter just buried right there in the grip and it kind of makes it like uh, shooting a rifle guys if this is something that you liked hit that uh, like button and subscribe to my channel we'll be doing more of this and I don't want you guys to miss out see you next time